Hey Java developers, Pattern Matching for Switch has been promoted as a final feature in Java 21. Let's take a look at this change. Pattern Matching for Switch was added as a final feature in Java 21. It was defined in JEP 441. Pattern Matching was first introduced to Java with Pattern Matching for instance of. However, it still left something to be desired when working with multiple types like in this example using a series of if statements. Switch has been extended so that the case labels can also be patterns instead of just constants, simplifying the previous example, improving readability, and reducing the possibility of introducing bugs. As a part of adding pattern matching to Switch, null can also be a case label, allowing for easier handling of null conditions instead of having to prefix a Switch with a null check or getting a null pointer exception. Switch cases can also include guard conditions, allowing case refinement within the case label itself instead of in the body of the case, improving readability and being less bug prone as well. The compiler is able to read a sealed hierarchy and use that to determine if a switch is exhaustive. Here, because both circle and square are covered in the switch, a default case is not needed. Whenever a switch uses pattern matching, it must be exhaustive, even when written as a statement like in this example. In this case, a default case is needed as shape is no longer a sealed interface. Note though that null is not part of the exhaustiveness check, as it can be already handled by switch by throwing a null pointer exception if encountered. Finally, record patterns also introduced as a final feature in Java 21 can be used in a switch as well. Happy coding!